seem like when the harp would start playing, the whole mood would change in the in the unit, and everyone would just kind of slow down a little bit, and the music would just take everybody to a kind of a different level. You can play a tune while the other harpist is uh, doing the typical um, therapy of the harp on the patient's chest or side or back, and um, or maybe even their hand if they can't tolerate it, because the vibrations are very important. And the two harps, you don't have to play very loudly, like up in NICU, but it will fill the room. And uh, once we figured this out, the, uh, the, that the therapy just took off. When I play the harp, I play it in such a way to create vibrations that course through the body. And I've had um, one patient describe that she listens with her ears to the music that Tom is playing in the background, but she listens with her body to the music that I play. It helps me relax and lets me just kind of go to a quiet place so that I can reflect a little bit and and kind of not, not have all, all the worries. If you're in the hospital and you're thinking about being in the hospital and say you're having trouble breathing, you have pneumonia or something, you're going to struggle to breathe. And the more you struggle to breathe, the more you're going to struggle to breathe. Or the more anxious you are, it just feeds on itself. And if you can interrupt that cycle of pain and anxiety, then uh, it gives the patient a bit of peace and it really works. Um, I would certainly recommend people to, to do it or to try it. I mean, everyone has a different preferences to their comfort but I think it would probably help them feel more relaxed and at ease. Put it in their hands and say, let's give this a try. If you don't like it, we don't have to continue. And very seldom, if we can convince them to try, is it not effective? We get as much out of this therapy as we offer to the patients.